logos are the face of your brand. And here's the truth. Most businesses either spend edit too much money hiring a designer or end up with something generic that doesn't stand out. But what if you could design a clean, professional logo in just a few minutes? That's where Canva comes in, and today, I'll show you two easy ways to create your very own logo. And if you stay until the end, I'll also share how to access our totally free Canva crash course so you can keep learning more after this. The first way is by using Canva AI. If you need a quick way to generate a logo without starting from scratch, all you have to do is head over to Canva AI and click the button that says create an image. From there, you'll be asked to choose the style you want your logo to have. It could be modern, minimalist, playful, vintage, or anything that fits the personality of your brand. Once that's set, make sure you adjust the dimensions to a square format, specifically one by one, because logos need to be versatile. This shape works perfectly across social media, websites, packaging, and more. Now you're ready to describe your logo. In the prompt bar, type in the details that matter to your business, like the colors you want to use, the style you're aiming for, whether you prefer a simple flat design or a bold 3D look, and any icons or elements that best represent your brand. For example, if you're creating a logo for a coffee shop, you might mention brown and cream tones, a warm vintage style, and an icon like a steaming cup of coffee. Once you've typed that out, click Generate, and Canva will instantly show you four different variations. From there, you can choose the one you like most and make further adjustments in Canva's editor until it feels perfect.
The second way to design a logo is by making one from scratch. Start on Canvas homepage, click Create a Design, and search for the logo option. Once you're inside, you'll see a blank square canvas. This is where you can get more creative and hands-on. Imagine you're making a logo for that same coffee shop. On the left-hand panel, click on Elements and type in the word coffee. When you hit See All, Canva will show you dozens of icons, illustrations, and shapes related to your search. You can scroll through and pick the one that fits your brand's personality best. Whether that's a sleek coffee cup for a modern vibe or a hand-drawn bean for something more organic and artisanal. After you've chosen your main icon, you'll want to add the name of your business. Click on text or simply press the T key on your keyboard to instantly drop a text box. Type in your business name, then head over to Canvas font library and start experimenting. Your choice of font should match the energy of your brand and the feel of your icon. A bold, Strong font gives a professional or modern look, while something handwritten or softer feels more approachable and friendly. Once your design is ready, it's a good idea to create positive and negative variations of your logo. This simply means having one version that works on light backgrounds and another that works on dark ones. Ensuring your logo always stays visible no matter where you use it. If you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other people who want to learn Canva in the easiest way. And as promised, if you want to access our totally free Canva crash course, just check out the pinned comment down below. When everything looks right, click share, then download and select SVG format for the best quality. Don't forget to check the box for transparent background so your logo will be ready to place anywhere without that distracting white box behind it. And that's it. With Canva, you can either let AI do the heavy lifting or take full control by designing your own logo from scratch. Either way, the process is free, fast, 
and beginner friendly. So if you're ready to bring your brand to life, head into Canva and start creating today. Let us know in the comments if you have any suggested topics you want us to cover, and I'll see you on our next video.